Hello, I'm Norman Walberger. We're here at the University of New South Wales. In this question, we're asked to find some inverses of small matrices, two by two matrices. Uh, this is a problem that's at the heart of linear algebra. To be able to invert a matrix is pretty close to being able to solve corresponding system of linear equations. And it's an operation that we do all the time in linear algebra. For a general n by n matrix, it's actually computationally reasonably involved. Uh, but for a two by two matrix, there's a relatively easy way of finding the inverse when it exists. But we have to remember that the inverse of a matrix doesn't always exist. It depends on the determinant of the matrix. So let's have a look at uh, the three matrices here. So 2, 7, 1, 4. We want to find the inverse of that matrix. It means that we want to find a matrix so that when we multiply it with this one, we get the 2 by 2 identity matrix. Just like the inverse of 3 is 1 third, it means when you multiply 3 times 1 third, you're getting 1. Same kind of thing here. All right, so how do we find the inverse? Well, first of all, we have to check whether this matrix actually is invertible. To do that, we look at the determinant, which is 2 times 4 minus 7 times 1. That's 8 minus 7, which is 1. So the determinant is 1, which is non-zero, so this matrix is invertible. And what's the formula for the inverse? Well, in general, we have to divide by the determinant. OK, dividing by 1 doesn't do much, but I'll just put it there just to remind us that we need to incorporate that 1 over the determinant as part of the solution. And then what we do is we take the entries of this and we interchange the two diagonal entries. And we multiply the off diagonal entries by minus 1. And so the answer is just the matrix 4 minus 7 minus 1, 2. Although it's not necessary, let's actually check just to make sure that we understand what's going on. So here's the original matrix 2, 7, 1, 4, and here's the matrix 4, minus 7, minus 1, 2. Let's actually see that the product actually is what it's supposed to be. So how do we multiply these matrices? First row times first column. 2 times 4 plus 7 times minus 1, that's 1. Now over here, first row times second column. 2 times minus 7 plus 7 times 2, that's 0. Over here, second row times first column, 1 times 4 plus 4 times minus 1, 4 minus 4 is 0. And finally down here, 1, 4 times minus 7, 2 will be minus 7 plus 8 is 1. All right, so that's what we've done. We found the matrix which has the property that when we multiply it by the given matrix, we get the identity. And we might remark that this matrix has the property that even if you multiply it by this matrix on the other side, you still get 1. Usually matrices don't commute, but when you find an inverse of a matrix, it turns out to be a, an inverse on both sides. Okay, so let's just write down the inverse of our next one minus 4, 7, 3, minus 5. First of all, what's the determinant? The determinant is minus 4 times minus 5, which is 20, minus 21. 20 minus 21 is minus 1. So if we take the inverse, we have to divide by the determinant first. And then we perform the same operation as we did uh, up there. We interchange the diagonal elements and we multiply the off diagonal elements by minus 1. And now this 1 over minus 1 is the same as minus 1. We multiply the matrix by minus 1. It means that all the entries get multiplied by minus 1. And so we get 5, 7, 3, 4 as the inverse of the matrix. And finally, let's have a look at this matrix 6, 12, 3, 6. So here, the problem is that this matrix has determinant, which is 6 times 6 minus 12 times 3. 
that is zero. Okay, the determinant of this matrix is zero. Six times six minus 12 times three is zero. So it's not invertible. In other words, the inverse matrix does not exist. That's true for numbers as well, right? If you have a number, it's not necessarily true that it's invertible. Three is invertible, its inverse is one third. Two sevenths is invertible, its inverse is seven halves. But zero is not invertible, okay? Because one over zero does not exist. But zero is the only number that's not invertible. So it's kind of a special exception. Here in matrix land, there are quite a few matrices which are not invertible, such as this one. Any matrix whose determinant is zero will be not invertible.